I want to thank everybody for watching Crypto Revolution. We talk about everything crypto daily. Before we jump into this, I want to thank everybody that's been liking the videos. Definitely helps me grow my channel. Also, if you haven't subscribed yet to the channel, definitely hit that subscribe button. I'm going to keep you up to date as possible on everything crypto. But yeah, definitely take two seconds. Just hit that like button if you like the content that I provide on a daily basis. Most of you guys watch the channel pretty regular and it, and it helps me out. Uh, tremendously if you guys hit that like button jumping right into the market today in crypto green day with some hints of red so bitcoin has been consolidating for a little bit so the there's some altcoins that have given back some of their gains but bitcoin is at 71.47 the overall market cap of cryptocurrency is 189 billion dollars this is a bitcoin daily chart and this is important uh, i had drawn this actually uh, and posted it in group before we actually hit that that top we ran up to a pretty amazing day right after i uh, launched the video bitcoin took off so uh, ran up to about 7390 7385 um, but it is important to understand as soon as we put in this twin high I, I realized that hey this is very valid falling wedge now this falling wedge is a 68 percent chance that it breaks out to, to the upside now this is a daily chart so I'll put our target around 82.10, which would put us towards the top of that falling wedge we've been in for a period of time. So again, this move is going to be a, a pretty big move. Now, there's there's a possibility, you know, you have to assume like we continue in this pattern until we don't. So when we do break out, that's your buy signal, right? Buy in the breakout. But at this point, and I'll show you on the, on the next chart that, you know, potentially we do move sideways for a little bit, but the downside, there's some downside possibility, right? If this pattern breaks lower listen if you've never used a stop loss before now's your chance because down here put your stop loss down below this lowest wick i had somebody reach out and they're like i keep getting stopped out find your lowest wick right here at about this level and put it below the lowest wick you don't want the downside action if we break lower because this is a huge multi-month month downtrend right so keep this in mind Right now, the 21 is the overhead resistance as well as this upper trend line. So Bitcoin's got some work to do as far as a move higher. Now let's zoom in. So this is a descending triangle that we broke to the downside of, you know, really gave validity to the falling wedge idea. So this is just a bigger version of the falling wedge we were just looking at. And you, we can see that Bitcoin hit the bottom down here, kind of had a little tiny double bottom and bounced real good. Okay, so ran up here, hit the upper trend line, pulled back, and now it's right at support. Uh, so potentially it's spooling up for another move. Now this support, like we talked about, needs to hold. We do know that this falling wedge is a valid pattern. There's plenty of touches on either side. Let me tell you a story about this gentleman. So I, he was, he reached out to me and he was having some problems uh, trading. Well, really he's a, he's a hardcore holder, right? And he's like, Chris, I can't sell my ADA. I can't do it. He reached out. He said like, I, I really need some help here. I'm losing confidence. I'm, and I said, listen, you are holding a coin regardless of what coin it is you're holding a coin and are, are you making money no have you lost money yes missed opportunities when you hold coins that are down a considerable amount and they're just not moving like a lot of the larger cap coins are just kind of slowly bleeding right and so he, he's in my group and we talked about it and i said listen you've got you, you've got the basics down he'd been in the group for a little bit you got the basics down you've got to implement some new things Right, so he, he sent me this and he said, crushed it today. So far, I'm up over 25% on Adam in my sleep, over $3,000. Thanks again, Chris. We're gonna have a couple of years of this after Bitcoin bottoms, we're gonna start those rockets. And that's the thing, I, it's amazing. People come into this group and there's a psychological factor about selling these coins. Like we put so much emotion in buying these coins and which projects to watch and then all, everything we watch on YouTube, potentially all the news we follow is these, these coins and we become so attached to them that it's hard to sell. Like there's, sometimes I feel like a psychologist in my group because you kind of have to talk people through it. Like, hey, listen, if this isn't working, possibly, you know, you, you take a tiny amount and you try something new. Right, and this is this is this is a difficult thing for, for people to get over because there's that FOMO factor. Like this is going to take off, and I just want to say this: if these coins are going to explode, it's not going to happen in two seconds. Think about that Bitcoin run. Bitcoin run is pretty good, right? Well, it took quite a few hours to play out. There's plenty of time to kind of make a move and get back into the coin. You know, I don't think we're going to just boom, you know, moon tomorrow on all these altcoins. We we still have potentially some downside ahead. Or, or at least we have some recovery ahead of us where 
you, you, you'll see rounding bottoms in a lot of these altcoins. So I just want to kind of put this out there say, hey, you know what? Everybody deals with this. It's completely normal. I was there. You know, it's like I had 40 altcoins and I'm just, I got this basket of coins I can't even watch. I can't even keep track of. Who knows what they're all doing on a fundamental level, much less trying to watch 40 charts. I could handle a couple. So again, just wanted to plant the seed with you guys that there's, there's a psychological aspect to this market that we get tied up in with these, with these altcoins especially. So I, I just wanted to kind of give you a, a success story in my group where this gentleman up 25%, $3,000 pretty amazing. I've got a cryptocurrency trading group. I've got chat groups. I've got, I do phone calls to some people. I've got a tier where I do phone calls. I'm very active in the trading group. This is all I do every single day, right? YouTube, trading group, eat, sleep, gym, repeat, right? I post these profitable trading setups. I've got 41 videos in a playlist that show you everything you need to know. I, I, I take pride in this trading group. I, I give it my all. I give it 100%, just like I do to you guys. You know, I, I give this channel and, and you guys 100%. I work hard every single day to make sure you guys are up to date. Now, if you do want to join the trading group, you want to pay in crypto, you get 20% off six months, you get 30% off a year, and you get an additional month for free. It works out to be like $1.33 a day if you pay for the year. It's cheap. So this group is not designed to be expensive. But if you do want to pay in crypto, email me, CryptoBitcoinChris at gmail.com. I get you set up and in the group today. If you do want to pay with a card, you can do so. There's a Patreon link in the description. Tomo, anybody that was midterm holding Tomo since November, basically about a month to five weeks ago, they're up 101%. Huge gains in Tomo. Now, I just posted this recent setup about four days ago. Tomo's up 22%. So this market, what's going on here? The fear factor. And, and I want you to notice this. Like we're, A lot of times we're counter trading the herd, right? That's where success comes in. Remember, if everybody was right all the time in crypto, no one would make any money, right? This is other people competing against you like they're trying to take your money and you're essentially trying you're going to take somebody else's money when you sell whether you like it or not that's just how this market works this is the extreme fear factor sounds like a tv show the extreme fear factor today is 21. now yesterday 15 and we saw a bounce now remember we ran up to fourteen thousand dollar bitcoin and we were up 95 was was the greed factor here and what happened we retraced so you can counter trade this idea. Whiplash, Bitcoin slides below 6,500, surges above 7,100 in an eight hour span. Again, this is about a $600 price swing here. I posted this in my trading group actually on the 17th of December. Uh, and you probably, probably can't read this chart, but I'll zoom in here. And it says, at some point, Bitcoin should bounce near the bottom of this falling wedge. When, when this happens, there's a good possibility that the bullish divergence gets confirmed on the daily time frame. If this happens, a $500 move is more than in the cards. And exactly what did we get? $600 move, it said. So this divergence, it played out. The exact same thing happened right here, except it was a, like a $3,000 move. It was crazy last time. Here, okay, so far, it's not. maybe it's not over yet. So far, we had about a five or $600 move, right? And so just remember... This is a five month downtrend. When this breaks out to the upside, that's your buy signal. I flip bullish as soon as we break higher. Break lower, Bitcoin's in trouble. So just keep in mind, Bitcoin price jumps 10%, but the bull reversal is still $700 away. And what they're talking about is we need, this is still, okay, so you got your high. You've got this high is lower than the previous high. So this is a lower high and this is a lower high, right? So this still isn't a bullish move. So we need a high. That's higher than this high. So we're looking for, a, you know, a good close on probably a higher time frame above 7,600 potentially. So we want to see, we need a higher high and that's going to show a trend change or trend reversal. I talked to you guys about this yesterday. Trend changes are the key to understand. If you guys haven't picked up a Ledger Nano X yet, this is your chance because you get, you buy a Ledger Nano X, you get a Ledger Nano S for free and you get 20% off. You just use this code crypto revolution dash LTZ, okay? Crypto Revolution dash LTZ. As long as you use the factory link in the description, you'll get, for under 100 bucks, you get a Nano X and a Nano S. Sweet deal. I think there's about 45 uses left on this. It's running out. It'll be good to the end of the month, but Bitcoin holds steady, essentially flat for the day. It's just spooling up for its next big move. We just gotta, we just gotta be ready. You guys gotta remember, YouTube is so much more fun when Bitcoin's moving higher, right? 
Bitcoin dominant surges as altcoins struggle to claim new grounds. Like altcoins aren't doing amazing, especially the large caps, right? These small caps have been doing pretty well. Micro caps, mid caps, okay as well. So we talked about the gentleman yesterday. He lost 26, he was down like $25 million in a, in, in a short period of time. Well, guess what? He gains 26 million in one day as Bitcoin jumps from 6,500 to 7,200. Well, guess what he did? He increased his position. Tons of money in play here whale status so listen he added 4,000 bitcoins somebody's thinking i mean this guy is he just risking it all well check this out so far this month the trader has more than 14 million dollars in realized profits he's already made 14 million dollars i mean he's got some money to play with obviously <laughs> shout out to robin phillips stated take into account the bitcoin futures throttle the back betrayal into paper settlements and the hostility of the central bankers is it possible that the crypto market might never see another legitimate bull run listen i'm betting on crypto i'm betting on bitcoin the market's cyclical like this happens think about it we ran up to years ago we ran up to 1100 retraced ran up to you know 20,000, retraced to 3000 here we are ran up to four th 14 000. i mean it's perfectly normal to think that 5 000's in the cards bitcoin retraces that's just how it works right the key is that each low is higher than the previous low, right? So will we get down to 3,100 again? I doubt it, but here we go. Let's find out, because we're headed lower. You guys can't get down when this market pulls back. We gotta count on it and we gotta know. I'm telling you, sell the top, take profits, take a break, enjoy your family, come back, crypto's here again. The Fed is printing another $500 billion to prevent a year-end liquidity crisis after printing 350 billion since august showing how shaky the economy really is i was watching some political stuff on on youtube last night and i was just thinking man this is uh <laughs> this is gonna be this is gonna be bad it's like the perfect storm is coming for these economies like I mean, this is gonna happen on a global scale the the demise of fiat currencies and governments is evident like the, they're think about it a lot of the control is, is in the money supply, right? If they can't control the money, then, then they lose a lot of control. So with that idea, I wanna to talk to you about this. Iran's president proposes crypto for Muslim nations as an alternative to the dollar. So I guess the key is here, Iran obviously has some sanction against it and they want to circumvent these sanctions. What do you think the United States, how do they feel about this? The question is, does this put crypto on the radar in a negative aspect and I, I think it does so the tron foundation came out with this tweet and they said that trx has the best decentralized application ecosystem because they've got decentralized apps embedded to the samsung blockchain wallet and it's now live across s10 and newer devices with hey here's tron popping up on samsung blockchain wallet and son like he's trying to make things happen right he's not doing nothing right i guess it's a flip side maybe he's overdoing it but think about how many projects just kind of have faded because they're not even you know trying anymore or it seems like they're not so at least we know that hey he's trying to do something with his crypto his project like he's putting a lot into it plus token ether worth 100 million dollars moves striking dump fears what are we going to do about this plus token man is this do we have another dump of ethereum coming is this going to just wreck the altcoins because altcoin you know ethereum is seen as a leading indicator for the altcoins Ugh. I think they're doing the selling slowly over time. I don't know how big of an effect it has on this market, but a lot of people think it has an effect. And here's what I want you to understand about this news in this market, whether or not this is actually even true or happening because we're talking about it right now, because news is talking about it, because YouTube's talking about it, because everybody in this space is talking about it, because we even just recognize this as being a possibility, it affects how people trade this market. And so, You'll, you'll potentially see a weaker Ethereum just because of this story and this in, in Bitcoin as well. Like the, I think it has kind of plays out on the market regardless of whether it's true or not. And so you really have to say, hey, it doesn't really matter if this news, whatever news it is, doesn't really matter if it's true or not. Uh, there's there's plenty of people out there. They're going to take this and they're going to say, oh, man, I'm not. I'm, look at the fear factor. The fear is at 21. It was at 15. They're going to see this and just sell and just be like, hey, I'm capit I'm done with crypto. I don't want to deal with this plus token. They're going to take it as real. So there's this Ponzi scheme plus token, right? And they've got about 105 
million dollars worth of ethereum and it was moved here's your whale alert Seven hundred eighty-nine thousand ethereum were moved from one wallet to the next if it plays out not good for crypto the fact is it even exists not necessarily good for crypto so there's a taylor swift photo that hides malicious crypto mining code so now this is infected a jpeg so this botnet is basically encoded in this jpeg which i didn't even know was really possible so there's a sample image and a windows malware executable appears within the image data in a modified jpeg photo crazy coinbase ceo brian armstrong wins a patent for tech allowing users to email bitcoin i thought about this this is awesome i'm just going to email you some bitcoin later today that's where mainstream adoption happens it gets easy new iota roadmap details released privacy scalability software upgrades are taking place here's what you want to see in your cryptos things happening at all times you want to know that they're continuing to move forward stratus just came out they re released a security token offering platform and again if icos fade away maybe ieos don't exactly take off or continue to do so stos security tokens are potentially the future in crypto if you guys like the content that i provide on a daily basis be sure and subscribe to the channel like the video comment below hit the bell for notifications thanks so much i'll see you guys tomorrow